As I've been preparing for my Creative Mornings talk and writing this blog post to accompany it, one of the tools that I want to recommend or show is tapping, the emotional freedom technique, which is tapping on different acupressure meridians on the upper body that can actually help reduce stress and anxiety and start reprogramming the mind in a positive way to proactively deal with anxiety triggers or tr like things that trigger trauma that can just cause people to spin out. And uh, I will link a couple of videos of how I learned to do it or ones that I like, but then I was like, well, I'm gonna make a video. Like I'm always sharing other people's videos and I'm like, you make a tapping video, Doug, so let's tap. All right, so first when you're tapping, uh, this essential thing to know is the meridians and there are nine of them. The first and most essential is the karate chop point. It's like this part of the hand. So you tap there. And then there's a point above the eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, on the chin, collarbone, under the arm, and top of the head. Uh, and these are the acupressure meridians, kind of like acupuncture. As you tap on them and say and feel certain things, it can have a physiological positive response in the body in the same way that acupuncture can release energy and heal things. And this is a great tool for trauma, it's a great tool for anxiety, it's a great tool if you're so mad at somebody or something, like take a five minute tapping break before you respond, before you do anything. So let's come up with a scenario. My scenario is I procrastinate. And so you go through a series, you're, you start with your MPI, your most pressing issue. So mine is procrastinate. And you start with the karate chop and you say a few times and you can say it along with me and you can come up with what your ailment is or what your trigger is or what you're struggling with right now and say it along with me. Mine is gonna be, I am a procrastinator and I don't meet deadlines. So let's just assume I'm working on an article and I, the deadline's tomorrow and it's about two weeks worth of work and I haven't worked on it and I hate myself and I'm eating bad food and I just, I don't wanna work. You gotta recenter. So you say, even though I've been procrastinating, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I've been procrastinating, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I've been procrastinating, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So that's kind of creating the safe space of like, all right, shit feels fucked up, but like, I'm an, a human and I love myself. And then you can kind of start venting. This is like your chance to vent. And it's like, I'm doing it again. I'm missing my deadline. Like I'm about to miss my deadline. I do this every time. I said I wouldn't do this again. I'm missing my fucking deadline. Like what am I doing? I'm so sick of this. It's so uncomfortable. What if I disappoint my client? <sighs> Shit, I could get fired. Why did I do this? I've had more than enough time. Why was I shopping on eBay? I didn't need to go to Target today. I'm missing my deadline. I'm avoiding my work. I feel so bad. I'm so mad at myself. I'm so fucking pissed off at myself. Why am I doing this again? I'm really a loser. Why does anybody even hire me? <sighs> I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. I can't meet my deadline. Why can't I do this? Why can't I work? This really sucks. This really sucks. This fucking sucks. I'm so angry. And after you do that, it's kind of like, okay, get it out. And then, you know, before you start it, like with your most pressing issue, rate it from a scale of one to 10. So where was I at with not meeting my deadline? I'd say a nine. Like I wasn't completely floored, but nine. And after doing that, it's like, okay, I'm at a seven. And after you go through the negative, then it's like, all right, we gotta change that. We gotta change that conversation. So it's like, even though I procrastinate, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I procrastinate, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I procrastinate, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then you go into the positive. I haven't missed the deadline. 
wait, I haven't missed the deadline. Okay, I do work well under pressure. And it's not like I haven't started it. I have my outline and I know the subject. It's not the first time I'm writing about this. It just feels bad. Like feeling like I'm behind the eight ball, it just feels bad. I'll get the deadline. I just don't like the way I'm feeling in this moment. I'm really mad at myself, but I haven't missed the deadline. So I can make the deadline. I just don't like the way I feel. And now I'm beating myself up. I'm eating bad food and I'm feeling down on myself. And then I'm thinking maybe nobody will work with me again. But oh my God. Okay, I'm tapping. I'm in the solution right now. I'm tapping. Wow, I'm actually tapping. Holy shit, I'm using a spiritual tool. This is new for me. I've never done this. I've literally never tried to proactively emotionally feel while I'm missing my deadlines. I'm going to get better at this. I'm going to try tapping once a day. And after I'm done with this, my anxiety will be lowered so I can go work on my project. I'm going to hit that deadline. I'm going to finish early. I'm going to really co-create with the universe. I'm going to do a really great job on this. I'm really going to make this my own. Change starts now. I feel empowered. I'm going to find an anxiety procrastination buddy. I'm going to be accountable to somebody. I'm going to stop living in this vacuum. I'm going to stop just running to target whenever I feel like it. I'm so grateful I have a deadline to make. Someone trusts me. I know I'm a good writer. I know I can do this. I feel empowered. I feel good. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I completely and deeply love and accept myself. Whoa, do you feel that energy? Do you feel that energy? I feel that energy right now and I literally feel like I gotta press the stop button and get out of here because I'm gonna go work on my deadline. Um, tapping can do that much. Like you could like literally start at a 10 and tap down to a two and be cool and then maybe do it again tomorrow and be down to a zero. Once you've completely tapped down something that's bothering you, like you may never have to revisit it again. For bigger trauma things, like if you were bullied back in the day and now you don't have the confidence to go out on a date, I don't know. It could be anything. Anybody's trauma is valid. Uh, those are the types of things I don't recommend starting kind of tapping with those bigger ticket items until maybe you've talked to a professional about it or are comfortable with the tapping process because I can promise you some triggers will come up and it can get really uncomfortable. But for, you know, the day-to-day -day things like freaking out because you're about to, you know, have a meeting with your boss and you really think that they're going to tear you to shreds so you're going to go eat a whole bag of M&Ms and then you're going to hate yourself afterwards, try tapping first. Uh, it's something that, you know, I've been to many seminars where Gabby Bernstein has led us through a series of tapping. Uh, Danielle Mercurio is really big on it. Nick Ortner, like. All the good ones are all tapping and all the people that follow them, they're healing. And I'm one of those people. And so I'm so delighted to share it with you. Uh, I'm also going to add some links to other EFT tapping videos and tutorials and statistics behind it that I find really compelling. But honestly, tapping is available to you at any moment. And that series, say you do several series, like maybe two rounds of negative, two rounds of checking in where you're at, and then maybe two rounds of like, I'm a fucking gangster, rock star, on my computer, ninja typing out my proposal, got this, later, like maybe a couple rounds of that. But it's a way to feel energetically empowered and get rid of your shit. It's literally a way to be like, anxiety, bye. Like, we're not. And so, I don't know, I want you to try it and I want you to tell me what you think. Like, even just having done that series with you, I feel like, boom, and like, actually I am on deadline with this blog post because I'm giving a talk in the morning and this blog post better well be live by the time I'm done with my talk so that everybody who came to it can get their tools and resources. So, I'm tapping out. That was good.